Eve, you'll be able to expose quite a lot. At least for one night in the year, New Year's Eve. OK for Christmas is the worldwide cry. And the shops of Britain are full of eager buyers making up for time lost while there was no heart for buying. The curb merchants are on their old pitch again, and it's estimated that 75 million pounds will be spent this year by the public for the pleasure of giving. OK for Christmas, but don't whisper the word to a turkey. Or anywhere else in the farmyard. That's to say, if you have a conscience at all, Christmas may be your feast, but it's their funeral. And your Christmas tree is on its way to you. Cut in some distant forest, it will lend atmosphere to your festive day and only start to drop its spikes when all is over. And the post office isn't idle, as you probably noticed from the cards decorating your mantelpiece. Presently the parcels will begin to roll in, the post office sorts them all out, and if in your heart you hope that one Christmas they'd lose that box of candied fruits, which Uncle Cecil always sends you, you're mistaken. Maybe in Dewsbury, your brother Fred feels the same way about how you send him. If you've missed the mail with your Christmas letter, you can always send a telegram, and there's always someone on duty to transmit it. In fact, everywhere and every wise, it's OK for Christmas, and our best wishes to you. <laughs> <laughs>